Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we got us another super size box from Hunt Vault. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Ring the notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. And with that, friends, let's do it. Alright, so we are back with Hunt Vault. And as always, if you are interested in this particular service, I will have a link to them in the description box of this video. They are a monthly subscription service. And they only have one box, and that's the Elite. It runs you, it will run you $160 per month if you just do month to month, or if you reach out to them and give them a 12 month commitment, they will drop it down to 150 a month. They'll save you 10 bucks a month or $120 on that yearly fee. And also they are a family owned and veteran owned uh, business. And if you are a veteran, reach out to them. They will hook you up with a veteran discount. And we love that. So yes. So as always, we got our Ben Shot arrow infused mug with our little Hunt Vault logo and our American flag there. Hopefully you can see that. Also rocking the hunt vault the hunt vault uh beanie and man this thing has got a lot of fold in it. i mean look at that the fold goes all the way up there so i could pull this thing down like really really far i don't want to mess it up though because i thought i had it i thought i had it looking cool so yeah hopefully all of you guys are doing fantastic like i said it's good to see you hadn't seen you in a couple days so yeah raise them up man cheers to you All right, all right. So, like I said, we got a big box from Hunt Vault. So, see some cool stuff. So yeah, let's let's let's. Uh, I'll drink. I'll drink to the big box. Let's see if we got a card here. Okay, this is Hunt Vault May 2023 Elite Collection. And as always from Hunt Vault, we do get prices on the card. So this is the one side here that just kind of gives you a little brief description of what you got uh, brand wise and then here's the actual card that gives you the prices which we are going to go over and i don't really like to look at that stuff because i want to see what we got but we got some cool stuff i can see it already boy look at this mm. all right so i think in the last in the, if i'm not mistaken in the last box we did get some fiskers uh, some Fiskars little shears and like pruning shears and stuff and this is going to be a nine inch brush axe for small branches and brush and I really do like the Fiskars brand of products uh, because you know a lot of the stuff a lot of the stuff is made with composite material a lot of the handles and stuff like that and it's very light you know and it's very easy on your hands, you know, when you're, when you're hitting stuff, the, the reverb that you're going to get through the blade. You know, you don't feel it as bad in your, in your grip. So, yeah, that's good. And I don't have one of these. And let's try to pin this to Hunt Vault, right? Somebody that's going to get this box. This would come in handy, right? Because someone who would get a Hunt Vault box is going to be a hunter. And what do hunters generally have? They generally have feed plots. And... Stuff like this is going to come in handy, you know, because you're going to be maintaining your feed plots and, and stuff like that. And definitely having a, a, a guy like this on your four-wheeler or, or something, you know, will definitely come in handy uh, when you're out, you know, doing maintenance wherever you hunt and all that kind of stuff. Okay, well, actually, they're really hooking us up. We've got another Fiskars product here, and this is going to be, what is a 15-inch uh, pruning saw. Yeah, yeah, it got some good teeth there on it. I don't want to pull this all the way off because I don't want to have to put it back on. But yeah, standard fare. Nice handle, you know. So yeah, doesn't fold up, you know, it doesn't fold up or, or, you know, anything like that. So just, this is what it is. But if you were to carry these both in conjunction with each other, you know, they're about the same length. So if you, if you had some type of outdoor, you know, like maintenance bag or something, uh, these, if one would fit, the other one would fit. So you could, you could build you a little like maintenance bag. You know, like I said, you could either throw it on a four wheeler or side by side, you know, whatever. So yeah, 
we'll drink to the uh, we'll drink to the brush maintenance. How about that? That Fiskars is allowing us to do in the hunting vault box. All right. Oh, we got some. Okay. All right. Cool. We got a seat. This is a hunt vault. I like it because it has you know hunt vaults. Let's see. It's got Hunt Vault's, you know, logo, or at least their, their branding on it. And it's a thermos seat by, what is it, Stay Outdoors? Or is that the company, or are they just saying Stay Outdoors? And I'm going to tell you what's cool about this. we got a little handle up here at the top. It has a little cutout with this little, is this, is this Velcro? It is Velcro. All right. I'm going to tell you why this is cool. I'm about to go to a concert this coming upcoming weekend. And we're going to be outside, so... Sitting on metal, I can definitely take this. Let's let's try it out real quick. All right, it ra it raised me up a lot. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe I won't sit on it because it did it did raise me up a lot more than I need to be. But yeah, we'll we'll read what what what's so special about this when we get into the uh, the product card. Okay. All right, we got another bag. Not saying like another bag, like we already got one bag, but I get a lot of backpacks and stuff in a lot of these, a lot of these boxes. And this is one from Badlands, and I've, I've gotten, I've received something else from Badlands. And the bad thing is, I get so much stuff, it's hard for me to remember what all I get and where it comes from. But I, I, I've definitely had exposure to this brand before, and... This, this is a definitely a very slim, you know, it's not wide uh, backpack. Which, believe it or not, if you're hiking, this is awesome because you don't want a, a pack that, you know, sticks out like way, like it, it flanks you on both sides. So that when you're, if you're, especially if you're going through not a well manicured hiking trail and you're in like thick woods and you're not like, in you know a deserty type of environment but you're actually in thick thick brush having a backpack with a smaller profile like this a smaller side profile is actually more desirable because it's less likely to snag on everything and and then you're not damaging the backpack itself and you're not you know being irritated by having stuff doing like this pulling you everywhere so so yeah this this that's kind of kind of good and i tell you one thing that, that i do like that is interesting that i see immediately here is the zipper the zipper has this little rubberized compartment that it goes into. And that, boy, that's a, that's a cool pool. I like that. Hang on. Hang on. Let me see. Oh, man, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. But check out that pool. I like that zipper pool. And, and see, it mates up into this little, this little rubberized, I don't know, housing, I guess. That's, that's really interesting. I've never, seen, I've never seen anything like that before on a bag. That's, that's really cool. I don't know what you know function it, it serves or, or what it does, but it's 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 definitely something I've never seen before. Yeah, it's just got a little the zipper's got a little house. It's got a little place to be when it's closed. So I like that. And we do got some ties here in the front, so you can put a bag, mat, pad, whatever. You can roll it up. You can stick it in there. You can put anything in there you want actually. And this this is I do like this that it does. You can cinch the bag. You can suck it. You know in when once you have it loaded with these stra two straps down here so you can really make the bag really compact so this was definitely thought out to be like a hiking type bag and it does have man i do like these zipper pulls man my dog would eat those in a heartbeat she would love that okay now the the, the bag doesn't open all the way it doesn't come all the way down it only comes to right here so this is this is as far as the bag opens this is as far as you, man, I can't get a good, I can't get a good spot for this. Okay, but anyway, we got, you know, you know, decent volume, which maybe the, the card will tell us exactly what the interior capacity is. But we got one, we got one compartment right here. We have a compartment up here, or no, we have a hanging compartment here. Can we put a hydration bladder there? Does it have a cutout for a hydration bladder? Okay, I do not see see a cutout for a hydration bladder but we do have these two these two little red tabs here that they do have little hooks on them so you can you know you can hook something to it 
and let it and let it dangle dongle you know whatever you need to do so you got one you got the main interior compartment then you have this one uh, sectioned off compartment here that's all you got for the interior and i'm gonna say it again man i love these zipper pulls man these zipper pulls are awesome and check out those those are bigger like look how big those zipper pulls are those are nice and they're textured too it's like some kind of rubberized really hard like rubberized material man that is these are the best zipper tabs I'm gonna drink to these zipper tabs I do like them I do like them really cool okay and on the back you know we just got some we got some normal padding that is the breathable mesh type situation going on we got the same thing on the straps got the padded breathable mesh not a lot of padding but enough enough to, to do what you need and for some reason this is open you have a why what would be the purpose of having of having that what would be the purpose of having that i don't see a purpose really for that we and there is a, a some some spandex kind of stuff here where you could put something i guess you could i don't know okay this pack is kind of confusing me a little bit now i do like it that that this stuff is covered it has the fabric that covers your straps i do like that it's just another way you know to protect them you know from anything catching on them or whatever so i do i do like that this is this seems to be a really nicely little thought out pack what's it called eastern day is that the is that the model let's see eastern day think of the tough lightweight eastern uh eastern day pack like a toolbox why have your tools scattered everywhere when this will neatly carry all of your essentials including a three liter hydration bladder okay it says it will carry a hydration bladder i i get that but i don't see a i don't see a penetration for a drinking line all right i, I swear i don't i'm not lying to you it's got a nice got a nice handle up here too it's got the badlands you know their their logo or whatever or their type the, the company name on it. it does have the little logo embroidered here you know which which looks, looks kind of cool all right so Apparently, they do want you to hang a hydration bladder in there, and I can't see that. Come on now. Uh, let's see. It's Badlands KX032 fabric. Okay. Hydration compatible up to 3 liters. Air mesh suspension. C6DWR. What in the crap is C6DWR? Multiple rear compression straps. Okay. All right, and then they then they then they they pimp in their company, Cordura, Advanced Fabrics. All right, and then the the bag's got these the little mesh you know the little mesh pockets on both sides. So yeah, that's all I can talk about a, a backpack without actually getting it out and trying it. But it looks like it, it's a, it looks like for a little pack it looks like it's really good. The fabric you know feels feels thick, feels like it would it would take some abuse. The stitching looks good on it, you know. Don't see really a whole lot to complain about because it is a small pack. So you know you gotta you gotta cut it some slack. You can't compare it to a big old you know special forces backpack or something. You know, so yeah. Proverbs eighteen ten. There we go. Proverbs eighteen ten. Oh man, this is going. Here we go. We're going to file it. All right, we got some sent away lip balm. What is this? Well, you just said what it is. It's lip balm, you dummy. Max odorless lip balm. Moisturizes and soothes dry, chapped lips. And it says sent away. I'm curious because it, this kind of threw me for a loop because it's got a picture of like a buck on it. So I thought it was it was something, you know, for, the, for, for something to do with deer. But no, this is for you, not for the deer. We're not putting lip balm on the deer. No. Moisturizes and soothes dry chap lips. Okay. All right. All right. This is okay. It, it's it's sent away lip balm. There you go. All right. What else we got here? What is this? From the I guess is this the same company? Or no, probably not. HS Hunter Specialty. Is this the same stuff? Nope. Yeah. 
right? Yeah, yeah, this is the same company. About to say the packaging looked the same. Has to be it. Okay, this is box call chalk. No mess, easy application. Okay, again, you know, to my utter utter failure, I don't hunt, so you know, I don't turkey hunt or nothing like that. So this box call chalk, something I, I really don't have a use for. But you know, they're they're touting this box call chalk is no mess, easy application. So there you go. I don't know it's box call chalk. I don't know what else I can say about it. Hopefully, hopefully it is. It does make a mess, and, and hopefully it, it you know applies easily. If it does, hey, there you go. You're happy. You got what you need. All right, let's take let's take a uh, a drink to the lip balm. How about that? I don't know about the box call chalk. Don't need it. Okay, and now we've got some targets from uh, Birchwood Casey, white tail deer. This is only two targets. Twenty three by thirty five. Man, that's two foot by three foot. Man, these are some pretty big targets. It says realism replicates real life hunting scenarios. Reactive. Okay, this these are reactive targets. Okay, vital overlay reveal hits even at distance. It includes. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, it okay. This has two of the targets. It has it includes four of the uh, vital organ overlays. So once you make that shot, they give you just the the pieces of the organs that are reactive that you can plaster back over it. And then it says it gives you forty eight uh, repair pasters, so you you know you can get more use out of the targets, which is something that's really good. Oh, check it out. There's the uh, there's the organ the organ pieces that you can put back once you shoot it and then here's the the uh, repair the little repair ones so you got four four sheets of those the two targets and yeah there you go so yeah that's that's that glare is bad i got so many lights in here trying to get my production quality up you know what i'm saying so we're going to drink to that too all right let's see what the car's got to say because that's everything we got the two, the two uh, cutting implements there for some brush clearing. We got the seat, which I will definitely use the seat. We got some lip balm. We got some box call chalk. We got the backpack, and we got the target. Now we're in this for 150. We're on a 12 month, so we're looking at 150 bucks. And let's see, did we get our value? Okay, Hunt Vault is claiming that the Badlands Mud Eastern Day Pack is $130. $130. Um, okay. I'd wait to catch it on sale for maybe a buck ten. Just me. Uh, the Fisker's Brush Axe. By the power of gray skull 35 bucks 35 bucks sounds about right you can find all this stuff probably at home depot or lowe's or you know menards or wherever so yeah 35 bucks about right okay the fiskers power tooth soft grip d handle saw 30 bucks okay that sounds about right then we got the custom hunt vault thermos seat 20 bucks i would say it's probably about right because i did we me and my wife were at sam's club and we bought a a cushion seat you know for this upcoming venue that we're going to and i actually we took it to a mma fight that we went to and i sat on it because i wanted to try it because at the at that venue all they have is you know the metal the metal chairs to sit in and you know no offense but after man two hours man my my legs start going numb my butt starts hurting so i took that seat worked like a champ perfect so i was very happy with that and i paid about 20 bucks for that seat and that's at a discount place so 20 bucks for this seat and it, it's a, it looks about the same you know except the other one's maybe a tad bit thicker but this one's supposed to let's see uh, the original thermos seat is a must-have for anyone who sits outdoors. 
produced with a uh, soft tech closed cell foam it will not absorb absorb uh, ab look it won't absorb moisture uh, and stays pliable in cold weather so you're warm and comfortable in all conditions perfect for sitting on wet ground tree stumps and metal seats and i will test it on metal seats this weekend so yeah 20 bucks uh box call chalk five bucks that i have no idea but five bucks for a piece of chalk uh i guess okay and it says this is the easiest quickest way to perfectly condition box call the uh wax is wax free it's non-glare camo chalk comes in one long lasting four inch piece it's an essential addition to your turkey hunting gear there you go i don't hunt turkey so Tucker hunt, turkey hunters out there going to tell me what's up on that and then we got the hunter specialty sent away lip balm five bucks finding a way to soothe chap lips while maintaining scent control okay so i guess you don't want to like be putting on like wild blueberry or something or you know cotton candy scent you know lip balm while you're trying to hunt deer i guess which makes sense right because you know they got the good sniffers on you know they they sniff you out you know from, from a long way away and it says that this one will not draw attention to game animals and it features spf 30 sunscreen protection this stuff seems like the jam there we go and then four dollars for the deer targets four bucks four bucks that's like the cheapest targets i've seen four dollars okay so what do we got we got 130 165 195 like 210 to 15 to 20 like 225 is what they're saying the value of this box is so if you were a subscriber to hunt vault which i really do like and they watch the channel so in the comment section down below make sure you say hey to team hunt vault because uh, hopefully they still they better still watch these videos i don't pay for these boxes for nothing better give me a view share it around the office i love you guys come on now keep it real all right so love the seat love the targets uh the backpack you know the backpack i've, I've got it's only because I, I have i subscribe to so many boxes that i do get a lot of bags and i think i've got another backpack i think i got another another backpack over there but but you know i'm not going to knock it because if you would have just subscribed to this box and you got a backpack you probably would have been happy you, you would have found a use for it and definitely these two these two implements here you, you definitely th these would not have been a waste you know you would have you would have used these so utility wise if you're a hunter this box would get used the value is there the beautiful part is there's a comment section down below go comment section let me know what you think about any of this stuff but like i said we're in it for 150 the worst case scenario you would have been month to month you'd have been at 160 even then I, I don't i don't think that this you know i don't think this box was a dud i think this was a really good assortment of products i think it, i think you know unless you're just one of the people that you can't please and then if you're in that boat well you're not going to be happy anyway so it really don't matter all right so that's it guys that's all i got for you that's it let me know comment section down below what you think about hunt vault what you think about this box well would you have been happy would you have been sad let me know if you don't have nothing to say about it just just say hey man what's up how you doing how you been i've been good been busy been tired you know been really tired get off work come home kind of tired unmotivated you know you know you know the deal you know how it is so yes and we are i'm gonna do a video if you made it this far thank you we're friends if you made it this far we're friends the i shipped off the knife to the last winter and i still have the the other knife that uh monthly knife club sent me the what is it it's the onyx collection oh man hang on a second don't be looking at my butt uh let's see it's the qsp it's the penguin it's the really good knife this knife 
This is a knife that Monthly Knife Club said I was going to have a hard time giving away, and they are not lying because this is an awesome, awesome knife. I'm going to give it away. This is going to be the next knife. But we have an issue. So the three people that are in my community, we have an issue. We, we, need, to have a, we need to have a team meeting. The winner of the Ferrum Forge, Ferrum Forge, uh, what was that knife called? I can't see it. I think it's Brandon. Brandon Martin, I think. He hasn't sent me an email. So Brandon Martin, if you're watching, if you watch this video and you made it this far, man, send me an email, man, at bradsjourneybusiness at gmail.com and make yourself known because I've got this knife. It's been sitting here. I need to get it to you. And if not, in the next couple days, I'm going to, we're going to have to do another giveaway for, for that knife. I'm going to have to give it to somebody else. I'm trying to, I'm trying to give you as much latitude here as possible. So, because I got to I got I want to get to this 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 penguin knife cuz this this knife is going to be awesome. This is going to be a really really good giveaway and it's such a good knife. What I'm thinking about doing, I'm thinking about putting some other stuff with that knife. I'm thinking about maybe giving away and you guys hit the comment section down below and let me know what you think. I've got all kinds of stuff uh, that I could give. I've got some MREs. Uh, I got all kinds of cool stuff. I want to make this this penguin giveaway. I want it to be more than just the knife. I want to give away some some other stuff with it. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. I actually I've got some of the the Minotaur uh, the the ration cans like these that I was gonna I was gonna give away as well. Uh, just you know I don't know just to spice it up a little bit, make, make the giveaway you know. A little more noteworthy I guess because that that's that's this is gonna be a really good knife to give away and if I'm gonna give it away let's let, let's let's give that knife away with a bang what you say man this video has went on way longer than I anticipated if you made this far you're an MVP and I'm, I'm out of here I gotta get out of here all right guys uh, see you in the next one and hope you're doing well and yeah have a good night good evening good day whatever see you next time guys peace